All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the video of uh, what Oprah said that that, that totally, um, I think, sums up the, the Democrat platform and identity politics. I think this just totally sums it up right here. What she said in her uh, her speech when uh, I think it was the Golden Globes or whatever the award show is, this is what she said that makes me know that this is just the most, the, the, the extreme left is the most craziest group of people that I have ever seen. And they straight up live in a fantasy land. And do you really wanna get into politics or, or get on the side of people? Isn't it, do you really wanna get on the side of people that, that, that aren't even interested in reality whatsoever? So anyway, here we go. Speaking your truth is the most powerful tool we all have. And I'm especially proud and inspired by all the women who have felt strong enough and empowered enough to speak up and share their personal stories. now that you've seen it um it just amazes me that the people there's people on the left that will actually sit there and get behind a movement that basically lets you live in some kind of fantasy land speaking your truth i don't this can go so many ways when someone says speaking your truth you're saying speaking your truth as far as a baby's a, 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 a child is not a life even a week before it's uh is 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 born is even a week before it's born that's not a life that's just your truth um um there is no biological difference between men and women you can be whatever the hell you want to be just because you say that that's what you are then but, but biology means nothing I am a woman, therefore I am. I am a man, therefore I am. You can just speak your truth. That is your truth. Uh, anything, if you're black or if you're any, of any uh, uh, minority, you you just because you say that whatever happens to you in day to day life, then that you know that must be racism. That is your truth. Um, if you're a woman and you get passed over promotion and a man gets the promotion over you, then it must be sexism. That is your truth. Uh, there's a lot of these things that are that are like that and and um, what I'm trying to say here is there is no your truth and I, I know other youtubers have said this from from what I'm I'm gathering but my my I, and I agree with that but my thing is is that there is no your truth there is the truth and just because you say that that's what happened or that's what it is that doesn't make whatever you're saying true just just because you see it one way does not make it the truth so so if if she's saying this this is supposed to be the next uh from what nbc put up there that's saying that that is her she's our president of course we're going to act like that there that the media is not biased even though nbc did put up that and uh that that tweet that said our future president you know what well, of course they're not biased at all so my thing is, is that when did living in a fantasy land, when did living in fantasy land mean that your politics are good? When when did just telling people what they want to hear? Oh, I, the, the last one, the last one was uh, the body positivity movement where they're saying uh, or health at every size movement saying that uh, your your size has absolutely nothing to do with your health. Nothing to do. I, I, meant, I meant to add that in there. It has absolutely nothing to do with your health. But yet these same people will say that anorexia has nothing to do with your health. So you might as well just say something like uh, uh, smoking has absolutely nothing to do with your health. It, it doesn't affect your health at all. Just because you say that it doesn't. So like I said, uh, going back to it, when did living in a fantasy land become something good? When did living in a fantasy land become good politics? absolutely amazing and but this is this is what nbc and all these other liberals are saying that this should be our next president 
someone that lives in a fantasy land. Anyway, that's my thoughts on on that whole Oprah thing, and uh, um, they're gonna tear her apart, and and uh, uh, just like they did Donald Trump, the the right's gonna tear her apart and and pick her apart and try to figure out where she is on everything. And, um, you know, with her and her pictures, the pictures of Harvey with her with Harvey Weinstein, of course, I'm sure she knew him good enough to where she probably knew what was going on. But we didn't care. But of course, you know, if that if that had been the same situation, but had Donald Trump or something like that hugged up and buddy buddy with uh, I would hope not hugged up. But anyway, uh, uh, buddy buddy with Harvey Weinstein, then there would have been hell to pay there. But since it's Oprah and she believes she has your politics, then that's fine. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Comment, like, share subscribe and all that and uh we'll see you uh and it's time for me to get out here and do some work all right